we can do better than that. Come on. <laughs> haven't had enough coffee. I know I haven't. Okay, we still have people signing in, but because I like to start things on time, because I know everybody's time is precious, believe me. We all have things to do. So what I'd like to do is um, I'd like to just start off the meeting. Um, and I want to welcome you all. You all signed in, and I appreciate it. Um, I am the PTO president for West Central Schools this year, so I'm very excited to be here. Um, the little raffle ticket you filled out, you can win this bag, and it'll be monogrammed. So we're going to try to do some little raffles during the year, you know, to come to the meetings and have a little bit of fun. But we'll pick the raffle up. We'll get everybody. Um, Sign in, we will pick the raffle. And if you're not here when we pick the raffle, don't worry, I know where y'all can find y'all. I've got everybody's emails and phone numbers now. So, okay. Okay, I want to start off with, we're going to keep this meeting as brief as possible. So, I'm going to start off with introducing my PTO board this year. Um, I announced myself on the president. I've got Jessica Walker working the computer over there. She is our vice president. I have Tangeline Woods. Wood? Tangeline Wood? There she is. Did you got to stand up? She is our member. There she is. She is our membership person. I have Christy Lenneman, who is our treasurer this year. I have Donna Wright. I'm Donna Sandar. She is our fundraising person. And I have Christy Booth, who is videotaping right now. Um, she is one of our secretaries. And Kelly Peters, right over there waving, and she's our other co secretary. So I have a phenomenal group of women I've been working with this week. We have been working behind the scenes to make sure this week went smoothly for the teachers, because we are here to support the teachers, to support our students. We were able to get Tuesday folders out. We've had some great things going on. So the first thing I'm going to start is I'm going to introduce Mrs. Julie Richards, our principal, and she's going to give us her welcome back. Thank you so much for coming out. I want to say that we always look forward to this opportunity because we can see who all are going to be some of our movers and shakers this year, and really appreciate you stepping up and being willing to volunteer at our school. Last year we had 9,711 hours of volunteer service and by volunteers in our school, which is 582,697 minutes total. So obviously there's a lot that we would have to do if you guys weren't here volunteering that it means that something else would have to do. So thank you. Give yourselves a big round of applause. That's awesome. Already this week we've had PTO um, volunteers here helping us, getting the initial Tuesday folder sorted out and out, getting uh, textbooks out, getting supplies, all the supplies that were waiting in your child's classroom on the first day of school. They got all those out for us. Uh, they provided, they helped coordinate a meal with all the teachers on their first day back uh, to work this summer. So there's, the PTO is, is actively involved in everything that we're doing and you are a part of that as you're here to volunteer. And we have a lot of ways for you to volunteer, and we want to make sure that you are and utilize the best way that you feel like you want to do. So there's, Suzanne's going to tell you a lot about that, but I just want to say welcome, and we're really glad you're here, and you're a very important part of our school. Because last year, we were able to give back to the school over $45,000 to our students. And this is what our $45,000 paid for. So the students got RAS kits, and if you have anybody from K through second grade, you will be definitely using the RAS, RAS kids software. We paid for field trip buses, Sun Math, which is third through th fifth grade. Um, you will see Tully the Tiger come out. The costume was supported by um, the PTO. We paid for a movie license for the school. I learned a lot last year. I didn't realize we had to pay for a movie license in order to show movies in the classroom. It's amazing what happens. So we paid um, towards that so our kids during some downtimes could watch some movies, especially during the holidays. 
Um, Study Island software um, package. We bought new iPad minis, which will be coming to the school. We got it's two 10 packs, so we got 20 more iPad minis with the cases. Chromebooks, 20 more Chromebooks to add because our population keeps on growing. We, the last count was over 600 students this year, which is fabulous. Um, classroom rugs from K through second grade. And then the best thing is we were able to give the teachers back from Apex was our big fun run last year and the and it was just before school got out. The teachers got 10% of whatever they collected. We were able to give the teachers back to purchase things for their classroom $5,661. And what we did is some teachers didn't come back. The new teachers, we took put it all in a pot, the teachers that did not come back and split it. So each new teacher got $110 to spend on classroom supplies. They were thrilled. And then last year on staff appreciation, we spent over $1,000 thanking our staff on different luncheons and things like that. So please give the PTO from last year a big round of applause. Because they did a great job. Okay, I got some important dates for y'all. Um, we've got a teacher luncheon coming up, and Tangeline does our staff appreciation. You will get through Tiger Talk some emails in reference to donating to that. It's October 12th, which is our conference day. We've got a Chick-fil-A night on October 14th, which is a great way of earning some extra money. We all, all our kids love Chick-fil-A. You go through the drive-thru, just make sure they put their receipt in. The other thing we learned is if you buy a gift card to Chick-fil-A, you get 10% of that. So that if you go to Chick-fil-A on a regular basis, we can get 10% of that. We made over $1,000 last year just on Chick-fil-A receipts, on our four Chick-fil-A Our Apex Fun Run is coming up in October. It's called the Dream Team this year. And it's going to be October 19th through the 30th, and the actual run is going to be on the 29th. It's all done during school hours. Last year, we made, as a school, over $30,000 we brought in off that fun run. So it was phenomenal. The kids, it's a character building. They're in the classrooms, Apex in the classrooms for two weeks with different themes and it helps out Mrs. Bryan. So it is a fabulous program. And then box tops. We brought in over $1,000 in box tops last year. So collect those box tops, send them in, put your kid's name on it because we have little prizes and little, we did ice cream socials last year. Chris Robinson's heading it up this year. I don't know what she's got planned. They may do little parties for the class that brings up the most. Oh, there's Chris. She's leaving back there. So Chris is going to head up uh, box top. So if you want to count, and um, I know it gets those, the numbers get a little small, but they do, we have to check every box top for expiration because they do knock us out for them. So they do check them when they get them back. So, But it's a great way of uh, earning some kind of free money because if they're on there, it's just clipping them and sending them in. Okay, and how to find us. We have updated, Megan Klein is our, our uh, website guru. She has spent hours updating our website. We are gonna be utilizing our website as much as we can this year. So please go on www.wchpto.com in order, or I'm sorry, or, um, in order to get any up-to-date information. Like us on Facebook, we've been posting on Facebook. We're going to put as many, as much, as much information as possible on Facebook, and then through Tiger Talk. We're trying to get away from paper. Um, we like everybody to utilize Tiger Talk, so we're not putting as much in and saving some traits. So, okay. So now I'm going to introduce Tangeline Wood up here to do membership. Hi. Thank you guys for coming out. We've had such a great turnout for PTO so far, so thank you so much, and it can uh, just get better from here. We're super, super excited, so I'm just going to take a moment and uh, thank everyone who has become a member of PTO, and if you can show uh, your hand, if you can raise your hand if you are a PTO member, that is awesome. Awesome. Big round of applause. Thank you. And if you're not, why join PTO? I took notes, but I, I really like thought about this. I thought we'll take notes on this uh, and write stuff down. But why join PTO? Um, we PTO is a link between the students, the school, the staff, families, your children. Um, and honestly, without PTO and without the support of all of you through PTO, we don't have.
have certain programs and different things that we can do for our school and for our children. And so the cool thing is that PTO allows you to be a part of West Cypress, even make new friends that you might not make, you know, by being involved. The more we're involved, the more that we can accomplish through our school and for our children. And it benefits your child, your child. Um, so with your support of PTO, we can provide West Cypress with wonderful programs this year and every year going forward. So truly, truly appreciate your uh, support. And I think we have 160 PTO plus 161. Oh, 169 now. I, I counted last night. That's okay. <laughs> So I'm excited. So how phenomenal is that? And how many families do we have this winter? <laughs> 400. So that's phenomenal. Almost half. So I know we can keep going. So again, thank you so much. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. We have a lot of activities. If you haven't seen the Sign Up Genius uh, for volunteering, um, I know we'll talk a little bit more about that, but that is floating around, and we just really want you to get involved as much as you want. So thank you. Okay, before I introduce our next speaker, Karen Dillman, it looks like we've got everybody here, so, you know, I've got to pull a raffle. Yeah, no, it's all fun to pull a raffle. So Mrs. Richards, <laughs> will you do the honor? Um, it's really exciting. How do we do this? Um, 
we go out into the community, and my board, it says, on my little clipboard over there, it says education connection. It's connecting the community with the schools and education. And so we go to churches and organizations, and we recruit there as well. And what a great way to really connect with your school, your, your local school. So um, that's how we actually can fill. We don't know how the student requirements are going to be here, but that's how we can actually fill. We did not have enough volunteers last year to be with every student that the teachers wanted to have the extra reading. Um, what's the importance of literacy? You know, our, our, so our theme is to be literate by third grade. There's a huge reason. And I'm not going to say this, I know this is probably most everyone is here, your kids are not going to be in that position, but you don't know about other kids that are in your school that may be struggling, that don't have parent help at home to read, uh, don't have the encouragement that you may be giving your children. And for some of those kids um, where they don't have confidence, um, it just helps them to have another person to connect with, read to, and be read to with lots of expression. So um, that's kind of what our goal is. I've got my little cheat sheet here. Um, um, let's see. In a nutshell, it's very simple. The commitment is 30 minutes a week. The volunteer plus two students, and it's one-on-one. -on -one, so you, you're with each student for 15 minutes. Um, you read to them. They read to you from their reader. And then um, you ask a few questions so that they're starting to get some comprehension. Um, I worked with kindergartners last year, and so that was something that they really struggled with. But we will, um, hopefully with this um, school, do first, second, and third, and then maybe near the end of the year, start with kindergartners, if there is a need there. So the teacher identifies the students that just may not be confident, may be shy, or is just a little bit behind. And so um, we have a literacy partner coordinator. Um, she is out of the state right now. So um, her name is Buffy Ivers, but she will be here. She will be working with um, Joanne Ryan, and they will be putting together uh, the teachers and the students. And so it's just a great way for you to put into these students' lives. You may make a huge difference down the road in the students' lives if you get involved. I have um, some bookmarks back there to hand out to your neighbors, to your husbands. We'd love to get men in there. Um, there's not enough men sometimes in uh, young boys' lives, so it's just an awesome opportunity. Uh, we will have a sign-up. It'll be online, and um, on my bookmarks, that is how you will find that contact. And um, there's something else I wanted to say. Uh, our goal uh, in working with the school is humility, consistency, and simplicity. So it's a really simple program, and we like to do what the school wants us to do. So that's why I'm here, and hopefully you'll pick up one of our um, bookmarks so that you can register online and or with the school, and we can also take care of that. And um, thank you. Thank you, Carrie. And what we'll do is we'll also add on our volunteer sign-up genius we will add um, this also program, this program with the information on there. So if you've got any friends or family or anybody that can go on the sign up to us also to kind of get more information on it. And we will have a link off of our PTO website and then off of Time to Talk. I do want to introduce somebody right now. She doesn't have a slide with this. I apologize, but it's a familiar face to us all and she's a wonderful person. It's Donna Richardson. She is our volunteer coordinator for all our hours that we come in. So she is one that you wrapped her in with in the morning, and she also will be going through training next week with the district in order to, the one thing we do encourage, if you do any work at home, to please log your hours in. And um, we've got a, on the, one of our other slides, it'll explain what we can do, and we have the link off of our website. So do please log in your hours from home, because you know, work, working from home, if you've got little ones who can't make it into the school, your hours are as important as somebody else's that is up here. So and we appreciate any time you can give us. So please do that. Next I'm going to introduce is Jessica Walker. She is our vice president and she's also our volunteer coordinator for the PTO. So give a big round of applause to, to Jessica. Good morning. I'm super nervous. I hope my nerves don't get out so bear with me. Uh, thank you. 
so much for being here. Uh, I know we said that, but I really mean it, each and every one of you. I appreciate it very much. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is our sign-up changes. We tried to create uh, a place where you can go, where you can see the upcoming opportunities to help with school-wide events. Um, some things won't happen until next spring. Some things will happen next Monday. Things are just going on. So if you signed up for something and you haven't been contacted, bear with us. We'll get there. We appreciate you putting your name down. A lot of spots have filled up. We're going to reevaluate so that we can open up more spots. I mean, what a blessing to have people go, hey, I'd like to do this. Here's a spot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Just bear with us and we'll get through that. Um, I want to talk about the uh, Lake Travis ISD general volunteer packet. Uh, I just want to touch base on a couple of points. You certainly can read through it later, but I just want to um, tell you or say that when uh, you're a volunteer, you technically are not uh, supposed to work alone with a child. That's where you would be a more on a mentor level, and in that case, you would need to do a criminal background check. So. I just, I want to make that statement out there for everyone. Um, also, uh, like Suzanne mentioned, uh, rapture. I know when I started volunteering, people were using that term, and I was like, I don't know what you want to the rapture thing. That's when you sign in. That's the program that grabs your volunteer hours when you're in and out. That is what that's about. You can also, as she mentioned, you can um, go online and put in any hours you do at home because the school does get credit for all our volunteer hours. So. That's very important when you're coming in here. Sign up as a volunteer when you're here to help. That, we, that gives us the school back credit for that. So even if you're here for 15 minutes to do a Tuesday folder really quick, go in as a volunteer for that. Also, um, to make sure everyone got a confidentiality pledge sheet. Just want to make sure even if you signed one last year, we have to renew them every year. Just read through that. Of course, it is, as it says, what happens at school, and you might see another child who have a hard time, make sure that we can keep that to ourselves and respect what's going on around us. So we opted not to do a separate homeroom mom meeting because I felt it might be beneficial for everybody to kind of hear what's going on, maybe help understand the whole system. And I'm not going to read through the whole handbook with you because, again, I know you guys can do that on your own. So I just want to bring up a few points on that as well. And then after the meeting, I'd love to sit down and give questions. I'll answer to the best of my ability and you may have to ask. So I just want to make sure everyone does take a look at the home and parent guidelines, read through it. Just understand that there's some general things we have to follow. Uh, you know, take a look at state rules and the LTISD rules and policies and of course our school's policies. The next thing I want to bring to uh, your attention is classroom parties. Good dates on there. You might want to go ahead and let your parents know in your classes when this is happening. You will also notice in your packet that there are times. You can already tell them what time to be here. It will be the same for every event, every class party they have. So if the first grader is at whatever time, that's when your first grader will have a party for their group parties. So you will have that. Uh, the next thing I want to uh, just mention is when you get an email from me regarding any sort of PTO event or school-wide event that I'm asking you to pass on to your students, and this is towards the, the homeroom folks, those are usually very time sensitive, so if you can please kindly pass that along as quickly as possible so we can, you know, get it out to everyone and what's going on. Um, that won't happen too often, but when it does, just please help me on that. I appreciate it. Okay, the next thing. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is the uh, teachers and staff gifts. Uh, the, the easiest way we like to try to handle that situation is if you do ask for a monetary donation to have it sent to the front office, that way the money's not to the teacher or the kid's backpack, you can just have it drop with Donna Richardson up at the front and just know, you know, who you're dropping it off for. She'll keep it in a safe place and then your homeroom mom or the homeroom mom can grab it there. So we're trying to keep money 
kind of up there and not leave it for the teachers to deal with. And also, when you are trying to figure out maybe a good, if you want to gift your teacher or want to appreciate them with something, uh, we do keep staff favorite list at the front desk. So you can kind of take a look at maybe what they like to eat or what they like to drink or what they like to read. So that's there for everyone for your convenience to help make that an easier process. And we will, uh, oh, I do want to also bring up that when you do, uh, if you do uh, put out an email about a gift that you want to always make sure that the participation is totally voluntary. Make sure you always, always say that. I've never once somebody to feel like they have to give. That's not what we're saying. We're just asking. I just want to make that part clear. And then I want to touch base on Teacher Appreciation Week. That will be the week of May 2nd through the 6th. Uh, we will get everybody more details on that in March. We're going to we'll get you what's going on and make sure you're well informed, but mark the calendars and know what's coming, and we'll definitely guide everybody through that process. You'll also find in your um, packet that there are two approved homeroom parent list, or emails that are already pre-approved. It's an introduction letter that you can send out just introducing yourself and your role you're going to have helping your classroom. And then there's also an approved request letter for uh, needed items or monetary information for gifting. So it's laid out for you. But any other additional written communication you put out to your class needs to be uh, approved by Principal Julie Richards. So make sure you pass that along and take care of that properly. Just going forward, going forward. And unfortunately, the first week of school, everything was like happening right now. So, no worries what happened. Just going forward, we'd like to do that. And certainly, any any questions, I'd really like to hold to the end. That way, I'm mean, absolutely just so we get folks out of here that need to go. So, we'll bear with us. But we're so close to being done. Uh, I appreciate your time. I'm here for you. <laughs> And I know, I really, really am. <laughs> Which is true. I've been a homeroom mom, I've been a Tuesday folder mom, I've been a cupcake coordinator, I have volunteered in the class, I've been in the trenches. I get it, I get it, I get it. If I don't have the answer, I'll point you to the person that does. I just want to help make it a good year for us, our kids, and the teachers, and the staff. That is why we're here. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Jessica. It's just, she's so out of her comfort zone, so I'm so proud of her. I really am so proud of her because she she is uh, she has been a great partner for me this week. I don't know what I could do without her. Um, and all the other ladies on the PTO board. It has been such a great team. It's such a great positive attitude. And we want to include all of you in that. So we're looking forward to having a great year. I'm going to adjourn because I told you from the beginning, time is precious, time is money, I get it. If you all have any questions, the PTO members are here. We can talk about homeroom mom questions for any new parents. We're here to chat with you. So don't feel that I know some, some veteran can be like, oh, I've done this, I'm good, I can leave. So just don't feel, feel free to say and talk to us if you need to. And thank you guys for coming again. We do appreciate it.